All right, Brave Nation, this next battle is three five-minute rounds in an explosive welterweight co-main event of the evening at Brave CF 44 in Combat Kingdom in the magnificent Kingdom of Bahrain. Introducing your first warrior. Fighting out of the blue corner! This man's a mixed martial artist with a professional record of seven wins and one loss. He stands 180 centimeters tall and weighs already 78.9 kilograms. Representing Art Suave in Copenhagen, Denmark. Please welcome Louis Spartacus Gleesman! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 11 wins and one loss and one no contest. He stands 178 centimeters tall and weighs a ready 79.6 kilograms. Representing Team Ross de la Hiva in Nantes, France. Please welcome the former Brave Combat Federation welterweight champion of the world, Abdul Lazy King, Abdurakimov. Your referee is Raven Light Saber. Everything else is bang on the nose. Louis Gleesman with a quiet intensity. He's ready to go. Abdul Abdulagimov with that lazy king persona that he is now adopting. Nice inside leg kick from Abdul Abdulagimov. Phil, these two have come here to scrap. This is there's not going to be a long feeling out period where nothing significant happens. And Abdul Abdulagimov has a striking style that's that's unorthodox. It almost looks uncomfortable, but he throws punches from strange angles and they land. Nice it's also straight. tough, Phil, because he's fighting a southpaw. That, le that, that left, that check left hook may have actually staggered his opponent momentarily. It'll be interesting to see if either man shoots for the take. Oh, ho. clean shot right straight down the middle from the Lazy King. Oh, Abdul Abdurragimov showing a little bit of boxing IQ here, rolling with the punches. He is indeed, Phil, and what we're seeing here, I believe, is the expression of his new nickname. He's not the Conqueror, he's the Lazy King. And what he says is he's fighting as efficiently as possible. See, he's using the shoulder roll absolutely beautifully there, but I was about to say to you, because both of these men are such celebrated jiu-jitsu practitioners, you could potentially see a fight like this just winding up as a striking battle. It could indeed, not because they're forced to one by the other, but I think it could end up that way because these two love to strike. These men are doing what they love oh, to head do. Kick. And that was a big shot. Oh, look, counter, counter hook from Louis Single Gleesman. Single down on the ground, Lazy King on top. And here we are, we see a little bit of that jiu-jitsu scramble I was talking about. Abdul Abdulragimov has incredible top game, incredible jiu-jitsu informed by Dajestani style wrestling. And now he's just taking his time, being methodical. Louis Gleesman trying to roll with the hips. Perhaps trying to use this position to reverse. May try and roll into a knee bar. He does have one submission via knee bar. Phil, it's difficult to see, but Gleesman is showing extraordinary strength here. He was not successful, but he did show an extraordinary core strength in that failed attempt. He does have incredible flexibility too, and right now he's abandoned the underhook he had on the leg and is now using it to try and switch. But look at the strength of Abdul Abdul Ragimov just pinning Louis Gleesman down. You see, with that underhook, you can roll out into the likes of a Dars when you're the man on the bottom. It's incredibly difficult when you have somebody as informed as Abdul Abdul Ragimov in top position. He's trying to dig in for that underhook. Again, trying to get underneath that leg is Louis Gleesman, but he needs to be wary of the head on triangle here from Abdul Abdul Ragimov. It's set. Abdul needs to pass to that far side, not get reversed. Forces oh, opponent is down. So flat yeah. side. This is up! And it's over! The Lazy King! Wins via submission in round one. Unbelievable submission. Abdul Abdul Regimov might just have some of the best.
Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in MMA right now. It is like a hot knife through butter. As soon as he locked up the arm, it was game over. That is as close to a perfect fight as you can get in professional mixed martial arts, Keurig. Phil, that was as perfect a melding of wrestling and Jiu Jitsu as you will ever, ever see. Perfect top pin right into a submission that was so tight. It was, it was over before it was fully sunk. And the Lazy King looks on calmly as his followers on bent knee take a picture of him. Abdul Abduragimov, the Lazy King, victorious. You can tell just how impressive that submission was because Louis Gleesman tried everything he could to power out of it. And he's incredibly strong, Kirik. But for Abdul Abdul Ragimov to sink that up so quickly with such ruthless proficiency and just cut across to the side expertly, you see Louis trying to roll out of that, trying to use strength. But that illustrates just how tight the squeeze is of Abdul Abdul Ragimov. I need to take a seat. Carlos Kramer, make it official. All right, Brave Nation, what an explosive finish. All right, Brave Nation, what an explosive finish to our co-main event of the evening. This comes to an end at two minutes and 50 seconds of round one. Your winner by head and arm triangle, Abdul Lazy King, Abdurakimov. Congratulations for all the Brave Combat Federation page. Louis Spartacus Gleesman did nothing wrong. He fought well.